We're live tonight outside Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. Right now, the Jays have just won against the Detroit Tigers. Now, also here with us tonight, these have rolled in. These are mobile vaccine clinics. Now, they just rolled in earlier today. They are essentially converted buses from Metrolinx that have been uh, retrofitted so people can get their first or their second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine for anybody here uh, who was born before 2009. Now this after a pretty significant week of vaccine related announcements, Metrolinx, the TTC, RBC and a number of other workplaces have started announcing mandatory vaccinations for employees. Most recently, Toronto's University Health Network saying unvaccinated staff will be fired after two weeks of being placed on unpaid leave if they don't get the COVID-19 vaccine. Now, one University of Toronto bioethicist warns this creates a dilemma. In the weeks and months ahead, there will be people all over this country that will be receiving uh, vaccines for COVID-19 um, that really is not an expression of free and informed consent at all. The reason they'll be taking these vaccines is they're trying to secure their income um, and, and you know their livelihoods are being threatened. Um, you know, that that's there's an element of, of essentially coercion there. So the thinking with this is that the benefits of this to society are so massive that they outweigh those individual choices. And look, I'm just going to say, I think that's an open question. Uh, this story is not over yet, and we will see how things roll. That may seem unfair but it's not illegal. There are many things that are unfair that aren't illegal. That's Howard Levitt, a Canadian employment and labour relations lawyer. He says a number of employers recently announcing mandates around receiving a COVID-19 vaccine or disclosing your status are likely doing so legally. Unless you have a human rights, religious or medical exemption, then you would, the employer would be absolutely within its rights to terminate employees because it's a fundamental requirement of employers to maintain a safe workplace. And that's consistent with that. But he says he expects the debate will likely make its way before the courts. I anticipate many legal challenges and there will also, of course, be constitutional challenges. And he adds corporate mandates may also help shield employers from other kinds of lawsuits. You can't be sued for negligence if someone gets COVID in your workplace and everyone is vaccinated. That's the policy of the workplace. The political and emotional thrust on this over the last few weeks is so massive. The question becomes, if we're going to do this, how do we do it well? making sure it's evidence-based, making sure it's fair and proportional to the situation. Live tonight at Rogers Centre, David Zura, City News.